So you want to run through your sets but you don't want to use charmers and you want to be a little fancy because you like using razor leaf users and you've been using it to hit legend every time because razor leaf or charmers aren't banned and go badly this is for you if you are more comfortable with throwing leaves very sharp objects instead of trying to charm your opponent down this video is for you this features the most well it's double razor leaf, okay? I really can't hype this up. It's it's not that it's not that complicated. All you do is you put something fancy in the lead, and then you shred everything to death in the back. That's literally what it is. And there's actually there's actually only two viable razor. There, I think there's only two that you can use in the love cup. I think, but anyways, other than the thing about it is, is that the razor leaf strategy actually beats the char double charm strategy. So. Depending on which one you decide to run, you may do better than the charm team. But instead of, like I said, I really can't hype it up, but if you like to shred, 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 instead of charm, 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 this video is for you, now let's get started. Alright, so really quick, this is just a quick analysis of basically what your available options are. Actually, you have three. So, you have a Shadow Vile Plume, which actually Shadow Oddish hasn't been out for a good minute, so if you do have one, you're in luck. Otherwise, you can substitute for regular Vile Plume, which is equally just as effective because it has the same purpose. And then you have Churum. So basically, you have three options, two in reality. But there isn't too much of a difference between most of them. As you see here, Vile Plume Shadow does do more shred damage, but you can use Vile Plume. You do get the extra bulk, and it kind of helps out a little bit for things. But like I said, you do kind of want the Shadow one because the Shadow one, it basically allows you to shred through a little faster than a lot faster than it would and you can kind of bully your way through two shield strats with shadow Bapu. so that's just it is right there like i said you can use the regular one but your your two options are going to be churum and Bapu, which you probably should have already and oddish has been oddish regular oddish is out but like i said you want to use a shadow one if you do have it all right so here's the first team i have this is probably the best one i can consider Aloma Mola hasn't been here for a while, so if you have one from GoFest or like way back in the day because it's not really spawning that much, or if you can get one traded to you, it's really good for this cup and works in a lot of cores and teams, especially the Razor Leaf team. So as you see here, the thing about that sucks about Shadow Razor Leaf, as you see here, it's not really that safe. Well, you could put the Razor Leaf in front, but if you do lose the lead, it's going to suck a little bit. So you can do, this is the first like strategy, you put the tank in front, well, basically water bastiodon and then you have the two razor loopers in the back so as you see the thing is about these teams they don't have a lot of bulk and safety but this team does beat the this team does beat the double charm team so if you do have double charm teams out there this team does beat it especially if you line up the charmers with shadow vile plume and you have a shield because a psychic or an ice beam from a wigglytuff or a clefable can actually take out your shadow vile plume However, as you see here, it's incredibly powerful. As you see, you shred through a ton of things. Electro gets shredded by Churum and Vile Plume, Alola Mola as well. Charizard is taken care of by Alola Mola, so as long as you keep Charizard locked into the weakness of which is in front, then you're going to do fine. But as you see here, both Alola Mola and Shadow Vile Plume can take down the Charmers. And they can't take them down in the two shield. That's why it's preferred that you have Alola Mola in front so that you can grab at least one shield. Your win con with double sh razor shadow razor leafers or ra double razor leaf grass hole against other like charm teams etc is to grab a shield because you still lose in the two shield. Vile plume, vile plume can take you can take it down with vile plume, but it's still very tricky. Try to take out a shield and then you can take him down safely. Otherwise, you can do the two shield. I do believe if, but like I said, you have to get the charmer locked into Shao Vile Plume. Churum Sunny unfortunately can get run over in the two shield because it's not, it's not a fire type. So because it's not a fire type, unfortunately you do not have a. Unfortunately, it does not resist charm. As you see here, the 
Double Razor Leaf doesn't have a lot of, like, weaknesses, actually. If you look over here, the only across-the-board weakness of this team is probably Scrafty. If you look at your, your, the potential threats, you're only weak to actually Sunny Charm itself and Scrafty and exe Execute. So, two patterns you not likely won't see. One pattern you might see, but not too often. So, and that's assuming that this Churum isn't a Razor Leaf Churum. Because if it's a Razor Leaf Churum 2, Vileplume Shadow actually resists Razor Leaf. So you can kind of use Vileplume Shadow to outshred Churum as long as you have a shield. Because it's going to get, it's still going to get to one Weather Ball at like full HP. But still, very powerful team. Very good. Not, I wouldn't say 601's a low threat score. But you know, it's one of the lowest. And plus, Alola Mullik is such a fantastic tank that this is definitely the most viable option, in my opinion, for a double, gra for a Grass Hole team in the left guy. And there's, I still have more variations, but this is probably like, if you have this one, this is probably the best one I can think of. All right, team two is kind of the more available team. If you don't have a Lola Mola, you can kind of, you can do substitutes for it. Mad Cargo is probably one of them. This team is very dangerous, however. You're either going to win hard or lose hard. Well, Grass Hole in general or Charm Hole in general. You're going to lose hard or win hard in general. However, as you see, Mad Cargo isn't that bad. As you see here, you're, you don't have a lot of bulk. It's not very safe. That's a, well... Charm Hole isn't very safe in general to begin with, but the thing about Mad Cargo, what good about it is you can you can use Shadow, you kind of beat a lot of the core. So Mad Cargo beats Charizard, Electrode, and other Charmers. So because of this, you actually are only your biggest weakness is Aloma Mola, which Shadow Bob Plum and Charm Sunny can take care of. So you have two things that take care of your bit, your big weakness, and Mad Cargo can kind of take care of a lot of things in the back. Now the thing about this team is that if you see your threats over here, you can lose to Charm Sunny, which is really ironic because you don't have a fire type move and razor leaf does neutral damage so it's very our uh, razor leaf will do neutral uh, so does bullet seed because you're a rock type so rock types are weak to grass and file does resist grass so it does neutral damage blaziken ponyard and licky licky and scrafty those aren't common patterns so you won't have to worry it too much so this pattern's actually pretty safe i would say Again, I mentioned Lickitung, Licky Licky. Those can be out there, but I you won't see too much of them. You can also see Metacham. You might not see too much in the lead. It might be in the back, but you can still see him, so just keep that in mind. But this is definitely your budget Grass Hole. Well, not really budget Grass Hole, but the more available Grass Hole. Because you see Slugma's a lot. Mad Cargo's been out for a while, too. So you probably have one for PvP, or you can build one. And then you have your Double Razor Leafers in the back. Now, this one is arguably, I would say, the most powerful one. But that's just because Lickitung XL is a monster. So Lickitung XL, if you do have one, which I highly doubt you do, but like if you do have it, it's very, very good because you actually beat a lot of leads with Lickitung XL. With Lickitung XL, you actually beat Alola Mola with Lickitung XL because that's a power whip. You also beat Charizard, Electro, Clefable, except Wigglytuff and Scrafty. So as you see here, Lickitung XL actually beats a ton of leads. It literally, it runs through a lot of things, which is just nuts. So because Lickitung XL is so powerful, it actually has a pretty decent chance against the meta. As you see, your potential threats are Scrafty, Talonflame, Blaziken, other fire types, etc. Like fire types, like you will probably will likely won't see a Magmar or a Blaziken. But you can like you can still see everything on this list, but like the odds of it, like you seeing your weaknesses here are pretty dang low. You might see a Talonflame, but other than that, Talonflame, Wigglytuff, those two are probably the biggest patterns you'll see. But other than that, Lickitung XL does very, very well. Again, you either win hard or lose hard with Charmers. However, Lickitung is the only one in the lead that actually can beat out Alola Mola, Charizard, Electrode, and Clefable. It can also beat out a lot of other things. As you see, it can beat out Medicham as well, My Loaded Crustle, Mad Cargo, a lot of other ta lead tap taps. The only problem is getting it. So if you do have one, this is the key. The keyword is if you do have one. Lickitung XL is a monster. And as you see here, if you do have one and you have the rare candy for it, you can actually run through a lot of the meta with this team. Lickitung XL will be able to take shields, take down whatever's in the lead, then Trim Sunny and Vileplum can clean up. So it's really freaking good. Like I said, if you do have this one, it's really good, really dope. Otherwise, you can use the fishy. All right. So what if you use the grass, char the grass hole user or the razor leafer in the lead? So if you do, this is just realigning everything. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to do the double grass hole in the back and then you want to put it in the front, if you put one in the front like this, it's just alignment. As you see here, it's still very good. You want a Lola Mola as a switch or Lickitung XL or Electrode or whatever you want as a safe switch, add in a switch, and then you want Vile Plume closed. The reason you want Trim is because it can get to Weather Ball. So if you do get like, say like a, 
like a Wormadam or a Scizor in the lead, you can actually pressure shield with Weather Ball and then start doing some plays from there. But Churm is definitely the better of the lead of the two, just because it has Weather Ball. As you see here, you'll shred through a Lolomola, you'll shred through Electrode as well. The thing about Churm Sunny though, and what really sucks, is that it's very, very squish. It's not real, well, it's not squishy, but it's like very prone to like getting like out muscled. As you see here, you lose against Clefable, Wildly Tough, Scrafty, Licky Licky, Medicham, and Crestle, but you eat a lot of other things. As you see here, your particular threats are many. However, like I said, if you if you do notice you're not encountering, if you do, if you're seeing a lot of fishies in the lead, or if you're not seeing a lot of fire types in the lead, or Charizards, this can work, but having the Razor Leaf or in the lead is very risky because there's a lot of fire and there's a lot of things that can resist Shadow or Razor Leafs in general. So I would be very careful if you're gonna do this strategy. Your sets will probably go die a lot faster because this will basically RPS. Well, it's still very RPS-y, but if you if this there's a lot of things that you will that you can lose the lead on with this team, but uh, or just in this order in general. Again, I do recommend you do the tank in the front and then you have the razor levers in the back because at least that way you can either decide to tank or sack the lead, which is a Lola Mola or whatever you have in the front, and then you can clean up with the back. But Either way, it's still the same thing. You're going to win hard or lose hard depending on how you play the game. Again, Churm in the lead. You want Churm in the lead because Weather Ball fires faster than what Vileplume has to offer. And Churm can probably win a few leads. Not many, but it can do some damage. Alright, I hope these teams do help you out. However, I'm going to warn you right now. The Charm Hole option is actually a lot better. Having Charmers is, well, if you want Ws, this will probably make you go by a lot faster because the thing about, like, Razor Leafers, there's a lot, like, you can't, like, because of the fact that Charm is so powerful, that's how you can two-shield through everything. Fortunately, Razor Leaf, that's not possible. As you see with Sunny Churm and the two-shield, you only run through a little over half of the matches, half of overall matchups. You lose against a lot of Fire Types, you, you lose against a lot of Fire Types, you can even lose to other, like, you can even lose to Fairies, just because. Vileplume's a different story. So Vileplume in the two shield can tank on a lot more things as you see here, but not too many. Like as you see 59 to 30, I mean it's a lot better than Sunny Churum, but Vileplume or even Shadow Vileplume isn't really going to net you a lot of Ws. You, like I said, Charmer, like Charmers are actually a lot more oppressive. I would recommend you run this team if you want your set to go by faster. If you run the Charm team, yes, you can go through fast, but you definitely will probably have a lot more of a better time. I would say so if you want to like this can this team can still win especially if the day you are having is filled with is filled with like teams that are weak to grass <laughs> because the the double grass hole team will just shred through everything that you have like your opponents have in that case also a little mola heavy teams will suffocate against this team depending on where a Lola Mola is, because if you lock a Lola Mola into either Churm or Vile Plume Razor Leaf, it's going to suck for them because you are just going to shred them. Again, don't recommend to use this team to go get to Legend. If you if you really want your teams to go by fast and you don't care about Ws, Grass Hole's your best option. If you want to get some Ws to get some Stardust, Charm Hole's your option. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I, I'll be doing I'll be releasing more Love Cup stuff in the upcoming week. Good luck on your Battle League sets. And if you aren't Legend yet, there's still hope. However, if you really do want to get Legend, I do recommend Masters Classic or running a viable team versus running this team. Or running a Charm Hole team. Or Grass Hole team. Like, run a good team if you really want to get it through Love Cup. Otherwise, Masters Classic is the best for you. Good luck on, good luck on your Go Battle League sets, and I will see you on the next video.